It's primary election day in New Mexico. But aside from a Republican governor's race and battles for the lieutenant governor slot in both parties, there's not much action. And that's translating into not many voters. News 13's Ian Schwartz is live at City Hall. Ian? Uh, actually, we're here on the west side at Lyndon B. Johnson Middle School. Things are starting to pick up here in the evening hours, but it's still been uh, voters trickling in, not a lot of action here. Now, since the poll opened this morning, around 80 people have cast their vote at this location, with Republican voters, voters making up more than half of that. Secretary of State Mary Adara says the turnout today so far is one of the lowest in years. This afternoon, she said the statewide turnout has been around 9%. They expect that number to be in the low teens when it's all said and done. Early and absentee voting numbers are low too, with less than 8% of eligible Republican and Democratic voters casting their ballot early or absentee. One voter we spoke with said the turnout is disappointing since voting is something you must do if you want to be heard. I also think that if you're going to vote, you have a little bit of say, at least, in what goes on in our nation and in our local government. And if you don't vote, to be blunt, you really don't have much say and you shouldn't be complaining. Now the polls will close at 7 p.m. tonight. Election staff say if you are in line at that time, you will still get to vote. Back to you. Okay, Ian, if you are a late voter, be sure to check to make sure you're at the right place. You do not need to bring identification.